Mark and Mark, pitch me. I'm a guy who is a great customer for you who can buy Meyer. Yeah. Sign a contract with you and start paying you a lot of money. So first of all, tell me who is that ideal customer? Give me an example. Mm-hmm. And then number two, give me the pitch. Yeah. Will you give him the ideal customer? Okay. Uh, ideal customer, say probably either an individual investigator, right? So an individual scientist or researcher, or a small to mid-sized biotech, right? Somebody who's new and doesn't have the hundreds of thousands of employees and the organizational momentum going one direction, but has, you know, has all the pains of them because they're dealing with all the intellectual property management. So like somebody, uh, you know, early, early to mid stage, um, or an individual. Give me an example of early to mid stage biotech company. Who's who's one that people might've heard of? (laughs) There's a couple. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, one of them you might've heard of is, uh, recently in the, in the New York times, uh, was, actually one of our clients, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. Okay. So uh, they're, they're actually an interesting one because they're nonprofit. So that's not, and actually a nonprofit group is a, is a third group, actually. That's, okay. that's quite different. People who very much well, care about- Educational institutions are nonprofit. Y- y- yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that, that kind of sits in a whole different, uh, different one, but they're, they'd be a good example, right? They okay. have, if you, or, or we got, we got a, a couple other ones, but uh, somebody who has, you know, between f- five and 25 or 50 or 100 employees not you know thousands or tens of thousands probably um but yeah it doesn't really matter in terms of distribution and all that it's just like it's kind of like the problem grows with the complexity of the number of people involved and the different number of breakdowns so kind of as you get bigger it, it Okay, so I'm I'm one of these organizations. I'm Maps or some other mid-sized biotech company. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't even thinking that I need your services, but you know, <laughs> right, that I can benefit. And that really, that really so happens a lot. No, actually. that actually does, know, that is generally the case. Whereas <laughs> there are, and and really, the platform is very scalable. So you know, in addition to just like the individual mm-hmm. investigator or the mid-sized biotech company, it can also work for large. Research institutions, you know, large uh, pharmaceutical companies, because they all have the same problem in that they're all dealing with a mishmash of research tools that are provided by a variety of vendors, and none of these tools integrate or interact with each other. And what Mark did is he developed one integrated tool that allows a researcher to go from hypothesis all the way through publication using one tool, which is, and, and is able to conduct that research in a repeatable way, which is hugely important because if you can't repeat the experiment, then it's not real science. You know, there's, there's a flaw in the process somewhere and, and why somebody, and, and that's a reason enough to want it. But the other reason is because the platform that he developed, is much less expensive than any competing problem or any competing product by orders of magnitude cheaper and can do conduct research in a faster uh, repeatable way so so a researcher can do more research higher volume of research for less costs so so it's extremely compelling product, and as you know, as we were just kidding around about, a lot of these researchers who will see the demo, they're like, "Wow, I didn't even I didn't even know that I could do that." You know, mm. I didn't know that 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 I could have this solution, and our, our, I, I've never we haven't done a demo yet where somebody hasn't been like, "Wow, wow, yeah." Uh huh. So it's it's an impressive platform. Got it. Got it. So uh, so okay. So let me let me, let me yeah. put it to you this way. This is this is the easiest simplest pitch, right? Of of what we can do, and it's it's one of the the components, right? You can imagine this in a lot of different things. You're a small biotech company. You have a whole bunch of different uh, service providers, right? Not just software platforms, but service providers. And every one of your service providers uses a different software. And guess what? They might be distributed all over the country. And so if you say, I want to know what 
if you don't know what a protocol is, protocol is telling somebody exactly what they have to do. Do they give you 10 milliliters of the drug or 10 liters of the drug? There's a big difference in that, right? You can that that's everything. Did they put it in your left arm? Did uh, they put it in your right arm? These I'm are, gonna prefer ten liters of drugs. Yeah, I mean, what? I, yeah, right. Uh, so, so, uh, so here, here's the thing. Uh, if you, if you, you're, you're trying to get that, and you're trying to get that from all these different places, and you say, hey, guess what? My ten different sites that are collecting this from you. You got some guys at Northwestern. You got some guys at University of Chicago. Say, so, hey, guys, what version of that? Can you send me back what you're doing? They send you two different things. No matter what, pretty much, and okay, and that right. and therein therein lies like, oh wait a minute, I wouldn't even I would then have to go back to the guy at Northwestern and yep. be like, well you're wrong on step three, and then go back to the guy at University of Chicago and be like, well you're wrong on step four. Now I want to change that. Okay, now I got to update both of you. Now you have to update your own, and that's just one of the little pieces. I right? got you. So I got you. So. That's that's what we can solve for them. Remind me of the steps of the uh, the scientific method. Mm -hmm. There's hypothesis. Mm -hmm. That's where we start. Mm -hmm. What's next? Do you know these off the top of your head? <laughs> yeah, they're his modules. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have hypothesis. Gen generally, you have to generate a hypothesis, and then you're going to plan what you're going to do. You're going to measure, make some measurements, or or do whatever you say you're going to do. And then you're going to analyze that in some way using generally statistics. Uh, and then you, you publish it. You share it with other people. You send that information out to other people. You put it in white papers and you put it in, uh, you know, uh, regulatory submissions yep. and all, all the different things. Along that journey of all those things you just said, the, the hypothesis, the plan, the uh, analyze, was it next? Uh, analyze and then publish. Publish. Along the steps, there's also... And, and measure, right? And measure, so, yes. so design, basically, middle. you design the measurements that you're going to make, you measure them, you figure out what those measurements tell you, and then you share that information with other people. Yes. It's like it's like, it's like like learning how to ride a bike, right? It's like... I see the exact... It's a perfect analogy. I get it totally. Of course I don't. How is it like riding a bike, dude? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Well, it sounds like riding a bike to me. Yeah, yeah to you it does. How, it's like, how is it like right, riding a bike to you? So you're like, hey... I want to learn how to ride a bike. What's the first thing you do? You know, hop on a bike. You've never seen a bike before. You don't even know I'm what a bike is. I'm going to hypothesize. Is. You're like that. I can ride a bike. You you see what other people did. You watch other people ride ah, bikes. So you're so like, I'm, oh my gosh. Hypothesis. Oh, I can look, do that too. Look, you put you straddle the seat. You put your feet on the pedals. You grab the handlebars. Right. Then that's you, the, that's the person hypothesizing how to ride. Yeah, a bike. that's that's how you come up with like how am I actually going to do this? And then you're like. Well, now I'm going to move my left foot and I'm going to move my right foot. But if I move them both at the same time, that doesn't work, right? I, I got Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... She's had it before. Yeah. So you, uh, you know, and then you do that ultimately, right? You make the plan and you're like, well, I'm going to do that. And you don't want to do something different every time. You don't want to get on the on backwards. You don't want to, <laughs> you know, sit on one side. It's like you fucking... You definitely sit on no, backwards yeah. if you had 10 liters of the drug. That's, that's right. <laughs> uh, or you just strapped to the front, you know? <laughs> So, uh, you know, you, you make the plan and then you do it, right? You actually do it. And when you do it, you're going to get some feedback, right? Did you fall? Did you move forward? All of right. that. And then ultimately you're going to share that somehow, right? Here's me falling off a bike, guys. Right. Instagram. <laughs> Selfie. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, and then along that journey, there's things like bibliographies um, and, and other, other things that are really necessary in all that five-step process that are not... Um, immediately necessary in each step but they're kind of like they're, they're necessary for individual steps and often they're going to be separate tools like in the planning stage or the hypothesis stage you might have separate tools to do the hypothesis a separate tool to do the planning a separate tool to do the statistics and analysis a separate tool to do the measurements yeah. you have the bibliography built in there the, the, liter the literature, literature review tool literature review yeah you have the statistics tool built into the measurements part. You have the, the all, all the tools necessary for each of those steps are all built in as opposed to separated out. Correct? Mm-hmm. And, and so, you know, the value... Who's doing this damn pitch? Me or you, dude? <laughs> yeah. Well, so the, the, the value of doing all that together is that 
so a lot of it, a lot of it, we talk about it in terms of the telephone game, right? It's it's messages getting lost between those tools, right? right. Those tools individually aren't bad. They they served a function, they served a purpose, but ultimately, not being able to use them together to do something means that you can't reproduce that experiment. And that's the whole goal of science. That's the whole goal of information sharing, right? If you weren't trying to learn how to ride a bike, you're not going to read about riding bikes. Right. You're not going to do any of that. So uh, in in that way, it's like having both the the information and the tools working together that's actually kind of where the value comes. Is it, right. it's not it's not just replacing the individual tools because what's the point? There's already things that, that do that. Yep. People people are familiar with that, but you it's the problem is, is that it gets lost in translation. 